from all of us here at Keen Investigations. We hope you're having a great day. Police uniforms in the United States vary widely due to the nation's tradition of highly decentralized law enforcement. Over time, however, a number of general traditions and styles have become representative of American police fashion. Police officers wear uniforms to discourage crime by establishing a visible presence while on patrol. To make themselves easily identifiable to non-police officers or their colleagues who require assistance, and to quickly identify each other at crime scenes for ease of coordination. Centralized, domestically managed police departments were unknown in the United States prior to the 1830s. Early law enforcement functions were largely performed by volunteer watchmen as well as elected or appointed constables and sheriffs, who were paid by the fee systems for warrants they served. The advent of the professional police forces in the United States foreshadowed the introduction of standardized police uniforms. While uniforms for the police had been introduced in the United Kingdom as early as 1828, adoption of the standardized dress in the United States took longer, with many of the new police objecting to the uniforms out of concern that they would be subject to public ridicule. However, in 1854, the New York Police Department became the United States' first municipal police force to issue uniforms to its officers. New York City was followed in 1858 by Boston, Chicago, and soon after other cities. The navy blue uniforms adopted by many police departments in this early period were simply surplus United States Army uniforms from the Civil War. The hat typically took the form of a stovepipe hat, a stretched woolen head cover similar in appearance to a top hat but with a shorter dimension, or British-style custodian helmets. In rural areas where preventative policing was limited or non-existent, sheriff deputies continued to wear civilian attire, only using their badges as identification. In many states, this practice continued well into the following century. The Orange County, California Sheriff's Office, for instance, did not adopt a uniform until 1938. By the early 20th century, the style and form of American police uniforms had essentially settled onto its modern pattern of button-up shirts, neckties, slacks, and military-style blouses with unbanded collars, all worn with peaked hats. Many early uniforms had loose-fitting jackets that would conceal a police officer's equipment, such as a trenchant and sidearm. Beginning in the 1930s, officers more frequently began wearing their personal gear on a Sam Brown belt worn outside the coat for ease of access. One of the biggest evolutionary experiments in police uniform design began in 1969, when the police department of Menlo Park, California moved away from typical police uniforms, opting instead for a dress style designed to better emulate civilian fashion trends and communicate a softer appearance. The new uniforms consisted of green blazers, black slacks, a white shirt, and black neckties. Officers wore their weapons concealed under their coats. Many other police departments soon followed the Menlo Park lead. In psychological tests, it was discovered police, after using the new uniform, displayed less authoritarian personality characteristics. In addition, civilian and suspects injured during arrests by police dropped by 50% and assaults on officers by suspects also plummeted nearly a third. Despite these initially promising signs, it was subsequently determined that other factors, including increased police recruitment from college graduates and adoption of more responsive management techniques, had probably accounted for the statistical shifts. By the eighth year of the uniform experiment, assaults on police had more than doubled from what they were prior to the dress change, and the civilian-style uniform were subsequently dropped. Most police uniforms feature shoulder-sleeve insignias in the form of cloth patches embroidered with the agency's name or logo. These patches are displayed either on one or both shoulders. Individual municipal and county law enforcement agencies in the United States are typically responsible for designing their own uniforms, often with minimal state regulation. As a result, there are no universal form or pattern for the American police uniforms. However, in general, most large police departments provide officers with two types of uniforms for wear. Tactical, also called Class B, and Traditional, or Class A. Tactical uniforms similar in material and cut to the U.S. Army's formal battle dress uniform are generally worn while on patrol or performing physically intense duties, while traditional style uniforms are more often used for station assignment, high-profile events, 
and ceremonial functions. In addition to these two basic uniform types, a variety of specialized clothing may be deployed as necessary, including jumpsuits, sometimes called Class C, and in the case of police pipe bands, Highland dress. Many police departments restrict the use of tactical uniforms to tactical units such as SWAT teams, or for special assignments such as riot control, in order to present a less militarized appearance in the day-to-day -day operations. Municipal police uniforms are typically colored in blue or black, while uniforms worn by sheriff deputies are often brown and khaki. Unlike British police, American law enforcement agencies do not usually include white-collared apparel, such as shirts, in their uniforms due to the fact that white reflects in the dark, and can make police officers more prominent targets for armed criminals during building searches and standoffs. There are, however, many exceptions to this general rule. The Miami Police Department wears white uniform shirts and senior officers in New York City Police Department, Baltimore Police Department, and Philadelphia Police Department have uniforms that also feature white shirts. Several United States police forces are known for unique uniform items that are not commonly used by other departments. Police uniforms in Chicago and Pittsburgh feature peaked hats incorporating the checkerboard design, similar to taxicab decor. The Washington State Patrol and the New Mexico State Police wear bow ties. Troopers of the Texas Highway Patrol wear cowboy hats as a part of their official uniform. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thank your local like button. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button as well as the bell icon and share the video with friends and family. We upload content twice a week on Sunday afternoon and again on Thursday evening. Thank you for all your support. Keen Investigations is now on Patreon. Click the link below if you would like to assist the channel and help us improve the quality of the videos. Any help would really make a difference and is greatly appreciated. We look forward to seeing you all in the comments. Happy Holidays to all, and as always, have a great day.